Hi guys. So my channel is still relatively small, but I do get questions from time to time and I wanted to take the opportunity to answer some of those questions. If you don't know me, my name is Bella and I make things here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. And because I managed to scrounge up enough questions to make a video about this, for today's video, we are going to do a Q&A. So before I get into answering your guys' questions, I do want to say that I have taken on board the comments about my audio quality. I plan on going home to New Zealand for Christmas this year, and I am going to retrieve a microphone I bought a little while back, but that I haven't had here with me in Denmark. So hopefully you guys can stick it out. Until then, I do apologize for the quality, and I am working on making my videos better in the future. Okay, I'm just gonna get my knitting ready, and then we can start. This is what I'm working on at the moment. I'm just gonna work on this while I answer your questions. First question, how do you get inspiration? Um, I follow a lot of people on Instagram and also over here on YouTube. So I do get a lot of my inspiration from what other people are doing. I have a couple of accounts that I really like. Um, I'll put some pictures up of them here and I'll also link my Pinterest board in the description below. Another way that I like to get inspiration is by going window shopping with my husband and going to some really nice stores and looking around and seeing uh, what sort of things I like and what sort of things I don't like. And um, I'm very much the kind of person that if I see something in a store, I go, I can make that. And then I go home and then I think about making it. So inspiration is everywhere, but I would say my biggest sources of inspiration are trends and other artists. Question two. Do you like knitting or crochet more? So for me, it really depends on the project. I think for something with a denser fabric or something with a bit more personality, crochet is the way to go. But if I want something with a bit more drape, maybe something that's a bit more simple looking, I go for knit. So I think they both have their time and place, but if it came down to choosing between the two, I think I would choose crochet. What first got you into crochet slash knitting? I think what first got me into crochet was those TikTok compilations of people showing off things that they'd made. Uh, I was watching them all the time in 2020 and 2021, and I thought I should learn how to do that. So I picked up a hook and I bought some yarn online and I tried to make myself a pair of arm warmers, but I failed massively. Um, I dropped a bunch of stitches and they came out really wonky. So they're still in New Zealand. And knitting came after I'd already been crocheting for a while. I would say I first got into knitting at the beginning of this year in spring. Um, I actually posted a YouTube video about my first ever knit project if you want to go check that out. I think I just really enjoyed crochet and I wanted to see if I would enjoy knitting as well because I had tried it a little bit as a kid but I never had the patience for it. So I tried it again and I actually really liked it and now I do it all the time. So yeah. That's how I got into it. What is something you really want to learn? Craft related or something completely different? I would love to learn how to spin my own yarn. Um, my husband actually bought me some spinning supplies for my birthday, but they haven't arrived because they're stuck in transit in Ukraine. And I also would really like to get into pole dancing for sport. Um, it's something I've been interested in for a while, but I've never had the money to do it. And I'm hoping that if I can start making a little bit of money from doing the things that I do, uh, I can put some of that towards pole fitness. Tell us more about your notebook. Okay, this is my notebook. As you can see, it has a bunch of yarn scraps uh, stuck into the pages. And um, I use a hole puncher just to make some little holes before looping the yarn through and then attaching it to the page. I started doing this because I had a bunch of yarn in my stash that I wasn't using and I wanted to take pieces along to the yarn store so that I could figure out, you know, what color combinations would work. So I started thinking about the colors that I wanted to use for different projects and I would loop them into the pages here and take this book to the yarn store with me. So this helps me um, make sure that I'm not buying more of colors that I already have. 
I also keep track of my receipts in here because um, one of the yarn stores I like to go to does accept returns. So originally this was just to keep track of the different yarn I had in my stash, but I also started writing out some of my calculations in here. So here are the calculations I made for my cardigan. But that's my notebook. Uh, it doesn't have a lot in it at the moment because I haven't been doing this for very long, but at some point it'll be all filled up with yarn and designs and calculations. So I just took a quick lunch break, I got another coffee, and now I'm back, so I'm going to keep answering your questions. What is your love language? I want to say physical touch, but I'm not super touchy with my friends and family. It's pretty much only with Oscar. But with friends and family, I would say quality time. How long have you crocheted slash knitted? I've been crocheting since the end of 2021, and I started knitting earlier this year, like I said before. So not that long at all, really. Before I did fiber art, I was a multimedia artist. I did a lot of painting, illustration, um, I made sculptures. I'll put some examples of my previous work here. But basically, ever since I figured out I liked fiber art, I've totally thrown myself into it. And I haven't been doing it for long at all, but I haven't gotten sick of it yet, so I think I'm just gonna keep going with it. How did you end up in Copenhagen? What's your favorite place you've lived? Pretty much the only reason I'm in Copenhagen is because of my husband, Oscar. He's Danish and I'm from New Zealand, but we met at school in Singapore. It wasn't until COVID that we started dating long distance. We reconnected through this old Facebook group that we had with some of our classmates. And um, we decided that I should come here. So I packed up a bag and I got on a plane and now I live here. My favorite place I've ever lived it would have to be between Singapore and Copenhagen. Um, I lived in Singapore for 13 years, and so far I've only lived in Copenhagen for two years, but I really like it here. What's the biggest difference between living in New Zealand versus Old Zealand, aka Denmark? I think the biggest difference is how cold it gets. It's minus six degrees Celsius today, um, which is not a temperature that we would ever reach in Auckland. And it's snowing, which also doesn't happen in Auckland. Um, but another really big difference is the public transport system. The public transportation in New Zealand, even in the big cities, is not super great. It's very often that the buses are late and that there's traffic jams and yeah, all sorts of nonsense. But uh, Copenhagen is pretty good. The metro is really convenient and the buses are always on time. So. Yeah. And the last question is, how do I start learning to knit or crochet? I would say just get into it. Um, you know, don't give yourself a super hard project to start off with. Maybe just do like a, a washcloth or a scarf or something, something easy and rectangular. And don't use nice yarn for your first project. You can go to like a secondhand store or the craft store and just pick up something on sale. Um, and don't overthink it too much. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because it's not gonna be perfect the first time around. And you can always go back and fix your mistakes, especially with crochet. So that's all for today's Q and A. Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. I had a lot of fun answering them and I hope you had fun getting to know me a little better. I'm working on multiple projects at the moment and one of them is really big, but I'm hoping to get the video for it out sometime next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this in the meantime and if you'd like to see what I'm working on now, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and subscribe to see what I make in the future.